Welcome back everybody to another Dokkan Digest, right? Take all the news, drama, and fun on Twitter, and I bring it over here to you guys on YouTube. As everybody knows, Alan Dokkan likes to get into some drama over on Twitter. It is not a surprise that he usually is going to be one of the main points of these videos, but I will say, today, it's not that bad. He has gone into a little bit of a stiffle with one creator over on Twitter that has recently gotten a rise in popularity. His name is Halvard. He does a lot of defensive calcs over on Twitter. He's a pretty nice guy too. We've had the chance to talk and everything else like that. So go follow him on Twitter. All the links for their stuff will be down in the description below. I think I will start doing that stuff um, if you're interested. And if you want to see the thread, uh, we're going to be talking about that today. Not only that, but I also have clips from the live stream where I took Alan and Halvard and I put them together to clarify their points a little bit better. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. And let's get to the drama. Alan Dokon on Twitter, this is the first initial tweet that he had made that started this little drama between Halvard and him. He said, the biggest cope I have seen about this unit is that it's good that they don't do damage in slot one. I don't know, man. They just seem like a really mid release to me. They didn't excel in anything compared to other units. They don't have great stats. I don't know, just a mid release. Now someone below commented down, <laughs> commented down, Better than Beast Gohan on release easily, which we all know Alan is going to defend Beast Gohan always. He comments down below, not even close, and I don't care what you have to say. Old Han was number two on release for free. These guys are struggling for top seven and legit can have issues in content. That's not even a thing for Old Han now. With that tweet made, Alan decided to quote retweet it to clarify his point a little bit better. Alan Dokkan then proceeds to quote retweet it and then say, Just gonna get ahead of the curve now. Old Han was number two on release. Vegeta and Trunks and Cooler were the only other arguable options and neither were as good as Gohan in the content released at the time. Not even close. That's when we get Halvard quote retweeting Alan's quote retweet to say, Sure thing, Grandpa. Now let's get you back to bed. Which, a little bit of a humorous quote retweet if you ask me i think it is a little bit funny but under that alan says are there any actual reason and this is where all the drama starts i'm not going to read out every single tweet but i do i'm going to have the tweets flashing up on screen so you guys can go ahead and read that for yourselves halvard then made his own post saying this unit is fun his art is awesome his team is fun, his animations are amazing, the discourse surrounding him is annoying and not fun. The end, have a good day. Howard then says, substantiate these nuts, this tweet wasn't even about our discussion. You goober! It was about the genuine brainlets in your replies that don't know what they are talking about at all. Alan that says underneath, Howard, stop lying man, this is very clearly about the tweet which you decided to ignore. You say that they don't know what they're talking about, but the one guy talking about it is using your calcs. Halvard then says, calcs are calcs. I simply put the numbers out there for people to use. Anything that happens with them or where they're used is not my business. To think I would be on fucking calc watch is wild. And that's where I'm basically going to end the thread. You guys can go ahead and read that for yourself. I'm going to have the link in the description below. And on top of that, uh, we have the live stream to clarify their points a little bit better. Now that you guys have a little bit of context between what happened to Alan and Halvard over on Twitter, I'm going to play you guys some clips from stream the other day, uh, so that way you can hear them clarify their points a little bit more. And honestly, it's just a little bit of fun as well. So go ahead and enjoy that, guys. I love y'all, and I'll see you at the end of the video. All right, let's get Halvard in here. Okay. Okay. We're gonna talk, however, this might be a little uncomfortable for you, okay? And let me know if it is. Oh, uh, uh, you mean you mean about the thread earlier? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did want to talk about it. Yes. No, that's not uncomfortable at all. I thought that shit was hilarious. Okay, let's talk it, about it's, it. It's it's a uh, it's an annoying topic to talk about. Um, with all Han and Jay, because I think um, I mean I'll get the thread up quick on my monitors, but um. I just, I don't see how units like Vegeta and Trunks even, like, remotely... Well, no, I'm not going to say remotely. Oh, I see. In, in, you're talking about boss-specific, or bo relative to bosses, aren't you? 
at the time, which was like Metal Call to Core, Stale Max, and... Well, um, they, they, they were the hardest three at the time, yeah. I don't see how Vegeta and Trunks are even arguable for any of them, Bob Brody. Uh, well, I mean, I I already agreed entirely that Gohan just fucking ripped Cell Max apart. Like, that's not even comparable. The fact that he could beat the event fast enough, even without Orange Piccolo, the fact that he could beat the event fast enough to keep his guard up the entire time, that he had the boost and he was hitting 30 millions on him and just wiping him in two attacks, like... It's a no-brainer. Vegeta and Trunks were not better than Gohan there, even the day he released. Hold on, before I, we continue. I don't really know anybody that said they were. Hold on, before we continue. No, Alan, what, are, what what is up with the people in chat saying they etched your shit, bro? You not, you gotta calm these guys down. You really do. I don't know, man. All right, go, you continue. They are, bro. I'm telling you, man. Can y'all go freaking get, like, I don't know, girlfriends or something? <laughs> <laughs> Brother, they play Dokkan. They They're don't know how to you, talk. Listen, to bro. Dokkan, <laughs> Dokkan is a woman magnet. Trust me, guys. That's how True. I got my. That's how I got my fiance. Okay. True. I told her I had over a million power level in Dokkan, and well, the wedding ring was on her finger the next day. Yeah, I. I me reading, me reading your guys's uh thread from the outside looking in. I first off, I, I thought it was funny as hell, Alan. I will say, did kind of. For, there was one part where it was like, before I finish reading what she said, I was like, "Oh no, Alan, that's bad news, buddy. Don't, don't type that out, bro." Yeah, bro. I, I, I didn't want to like spam in the whole thing. I just wanted to go over the metal called the core plot because I do massively disagree with it. Because um, I mean, I need to get the thread up. I, ninja's just, I just got a, a, a reply from Ninja and talking about. I also played the game and constantly see oh, I'm missing his 70% additional <laughs> super chance. The last video I used him and missed it turn one and three. I feel like do people understand the concept of chance? Like they did, like statistically. Uh, no, no, they don't. And I, mean, I... Oh, we're guarding good shit. I want to go ahead and get this out of the way because I feel like it's very important. I like LL Ultimate Johan. I've always liked him. I thought he was fucking cool when he dropped. I didn't really care what anybody was saying about him. Anybody being truth. I mean, he's he's like the prime candidate from where all the shit talk came from. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody was talking shit about Ultimate Gohan, but truth. And the second he started putting out videos and he started that agenda, then everybody else followed because that's what they do. Facts. But Facts. I, I, I don't agree with that. I never have. I've always thought he was solid. Um... I never, well, I can't say I never, but I didn't always agree. What's up, Rick? Welcome to the stream. When you said he was over certain units, uh, if you asked me to name any of them, I couldn't. I just know you put him over units before that I personally didn't agree with, but like. Any anytime I put him over yeah. units, it will be based on like multiple factors. Like if it will be how he performs in current bosses, um, <laughs> obviously at the moment he performs extremely, extremely well. Um, yeah. you know, he just dominates the moment. I don't think anyone's even denying that, apart from a few, few uniques. But um, it's also mainly about his damage. Um, what I kind of don't get is a lot of the mafsy people that know he like they they know what he does damage wise. They they kind of keep quiet about it. I don't know why. Um, you could probably reach out to other people if you don't trust me. But um, damage wise, he is kind of shitting on pretty much most of the people in the top 10 at the moment um, no one no one is disagreeing with alan that like uh, well okay actually that's just not true there's a lot of people well, disagreeing with alan being bad but uh someone disagrees honestly i'm not like i think what we're talking about though uh or what i see <laughs> what i see is like people will go into alan's like tweet just talking about like the unit's performance or something like that or like how it could possibly be better than like one unit i, I mean i will say though alan Number two is kind of crazy because I I think back to like Tech Goku and I still think that he was he was up there on release. Tech Goku, are you talking? Oh, you talking about Birdku, bro? Yeah, Birdku, Birdku. No, no, nah, not fuck no. Was he, he was not even close on Gohan's release, bro. What I just don't about? understand why that unit is so disliked right now. Because even Birdcube, even then, it was like I I would look at Birdku's performance and I'm like, this guy is nuts. He's absolutely nuts. He would he would do a lot more. Real reason on paper. To dislike him. Yeah, why is that? That's because people don't actually summon for him, and they have him at fifty-five percent. Yeah, 
You know what? Fair I enough. Know, no, I, I need to be, I know what his defensive stat is. Rainbow is he gets to about four hundred k after one super post hit, but it's just that other units do what he does better. Whilst his revive is kind of shit because GT Duo are on a lot of the teams that you want to run. Well, GT Duo like, wasn't out then. No, yeah, but at the time, the only teams he was being used on were Kid Goku's, which was Exploding Rage, with Adragahan, who I thought was shit, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, and then Movie Heroes. I think they were, they were the two teams that he was being used on, and I don't think he was even that exceptional either. Um, you know, Exploding Rage, I'm sure you can make a case for it being a good team, but it's not even fucking close to Super Heroes. Never was, never is. It, no. Just, there's no case uh, for that. I, I will say, a major flaw that he has and he's always had it and gohan doesn't have this i don't think anyone in the top 10 has this currently um he has to be hit to be defensive yeah well hold on hold on hold on doesn't uh doesn't truth have vegeta and trunks in the top 10 yeah but they're at like nine yeah i mean that's still top 10 top 10 in the game is still massively above like everything well, else the right difference the difference, though, is that, uh, okay, to be fair, they do have to be hit to be defensive because they have build-up. But their build-up is passive phase two, so it's multiplicative. It's a bigger deal. For Bird Coup, it's not. He has to take one hit to get 59% defense, and then it feeds into the phase one of his passive. So it's already a smaller buff, and he still has to be hit to get that smaller buff. I really wish I could pull up a tier list from, like, what uh, LRs back then. I really wish I could. Let me see if I can I find something from Detroit. I feel like Vegeta and Trunks are kind of getting overrated at the moment. Um, I, 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 I do think they're, they're a little bit overrated, overrated, overrated right now. They can, get, they they can sell you. Right now. They can definitely the, sell you for sure. The revisionist history of what they were actually performing like is a little bit crazy as well. Because no call cool to call, they, they were like usually taking 300 to 450k on that super. So I don't really get why people are saying they was good yeah, for that violent. fight. Violent. Oh, shit. I will say in regards to that, I think... I think they're actually in a better spot now, just like Gohan is. Um, and yeah, maybe. Yeah. Of course, don't get it twisted. I don't think they're better than Gohan now. But, uh, you know, with teams, especially teams they're on, being fucking future and time travelers, when you can have over 900,000 health, they could take 700k from a super. It means nothing anymore. Um, yeah, I, I do agree with that, but you kind of have to factor in what else they're even doing, because... They only tank. What else do they do? They're shit damage. They're they oh, no, yeah, I, mean, I agree. I agree. I think their active is extremely oh, you know, really? important. Um, their yeah, their active is quite good to be fair at the moment. I will say that because you can yeah. use it quite a lot. Let me see. It's quite a big buff. Um, people, uh, there's a lot of there, dude. I'm missing so much chat. I'm sorry if I it feels like I'm ignoring you guys. I'm really not trying to. It's just these conversations. You <laughs> kind of don't want to interrupt them. But uh, back into what is your shame, bro? Why does Anna sound like he smoked eight packs a day instead of seven? <laughs> <laughs> it's because I do jokes. I don't. Um, I guess it's I guess it's just like what I'm confused about is why I, I suppose it's just this seething hatred for Gohan and like there's no possible way that people can see Gohan above like anyone else right now. Uh, let's I, see if I can pull yeah. up the truth's top ten. Even it's just I mean I do think that the truth it, whether or not he admits it. I don't think he fully does, but he has he has done like irreparable irreparable damage to oh, Gohan. Yes, yeah. No, no uh, like him and Goresh uh, just fucking demolished that unit. Like hold on. I remember from the stream, Goresh was going, Oh yeah, it's like I don't like obviously there's there's genuine I understand the annoyance, but well, um the I, truth I, doesn't I even a, a while ago and you kinda of said, Oh, why do you care about how people rank him? Well, I do kind of care actually because I talk about the open, you know, the same way he talks about legends, and it's like I would rather I don't have a bunch of people that just don't fucking know what they're talking about, incredibly biased about the situation, just all telling me I'm wrong because Goresh and Truth said, "Oh yeah, he's shit," because he wasn't beast in a transformation. Like, like come on, bro. Well, I think it's because Truth Edgers have superiority complex, with and Alan is in fact. The smarter one in most combos. <laughs> truth is, is wrong about Gohan, though. Truth, I mean, Truth doesn't even have Vegeta and Trunks in the top 10 right now from his list on Twitter, from what I see. Uh, that's kind of, oh, really? Or I'm Gohan. Crosses his legs. <laughs> Check Discord only. I think I found uh, what you need. Let me go see. 
Who would talk about my voice? Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God, Future, you're awesome. I love you, dude. So, earlier, I mean, last year, uh, The Truth had Piccolo number one, Vegeta and Trunks number two, Goku number three, Cooler number four, The Gods. Now, I think me and you were talking about this, Alan, but, like, I do think that Beast Gohan was at least above the blues and, and Super Saiyan 4. I, it's honestly kind of crazy thinking back oh, on it is. now that Beast Gohan was below them. I, even then, yeah. it was like Beast Gohan was better than them. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I do um, think that some of those placements were, were a bit bad. Like below Carnival Goku, below Golden Frieza and stuff like that. That's fine. I, I don't know. You can you have an argument with Golden Frieza. But... Go on below Golden Frieza. Yeah, he did. Back then. Oh, my God. Yeah, he, he had Gohan in eight. He had Gohan in eight. I I do think that's a bit, of, a, a bit egregious, actually. Wait, when was this? When the fuck was this? What, what list was this? Uh, I can go. Actually, here, let me pull up the tweet right now. I, was this a I recent list? Was this no, no, no. It's not a recent list. It was a while ago. December 31st, 2022. December 31st? Oh, so in an, like an initial release. Yeah, no, I'm not surprised. So Future Dog can be in a little, a little lab boy right now. Yeah, he's being he's being cool. Providing me some info. Yes, I, I mean, I even you. even then, I think back then, like that list is just wrong to me. Oh yeah, no, no, truth, truth. That that list sounds horrible, actually. Holy shit! Uh, he had the seventh years both above him. He did, didn't he? Uh, he had the blues and the fours above him. He had Carnival um, SCR Goku above him. He had Golden Freeze above him. That is a bit. No, that is you, a bit crazy. Bro, I'll, I'll tell you what what caused that. And no hate to Fishy. Fishy, I've, I've talked about. I've talked to him a lot. Really nice guy, um, but that li that that shit he did uh, did so much harm as well, man. I I've talked about it. It's like the perfect storm. Basically, that that entire sheet was using like some weird. Well, not the entire sheet, but like the main number was using like a bit like a bit of a wonky key average. But I just don't don't like in sheets anyway. But oh, also yeah. specifically looking at Gohan with links only with Pan. So like if Gohan was slot one and Pan was slot two. Which obviously is really bad. Like legendary powered up stat a shit ton. It's a, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, that was like people actually thought he was doing comparable stuff to the Semphius, which is just fucking. Like, it, it, you, all you have to do is look at him in game. And see, that's not true. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, I don't know. It's just mad. You know uh, that that list. Where does he have the gods? Uh, but I think it's like four. And what was Gohan? Gohan was eight. <laughs> okay, uh, so no, no, so... the the god, the the blues and the gods, the gods and the fours were five, and then Gohan was eight. Okay, so <laughs> keep this very simple. I went and looked at the calcs that I did for both of those LRs, um, <laughs> and just you know to to help the hatred of Gohan maybe died down. I don't know. Just a fucking tad. The gods, with three supers on their first turn with 40% support, they max out at 372 on turn one. With 40%. Mm. That's the highest they can get with 40%. It's 372 with guard. Mm. If you give them six stacks, they get to 512. Gohan, after supering on his first turn with his 18 key, one single time is at 500k. Let me see. Uh, let me see. I'm, I want to pull up this thread and ask you guys some questions. Because I reading it, I did have some things I want to clarify for myself. Um. All right. So Alan felt as though you were kind of skirting around it. Alan, do you want to give a little bit more uh, some clarification for that? Yeah. So I read your breakdowns. Um. I mean, oh, I kind of wanted to go over the um, the Vegeta and Trunk stuff first, but it's it's all kind of the same stuff. So I'm looking at your th the second thread we did at the moment. Um, so if you'll notice, never once in my very tough breakdown based on my own experiences. Yours have differed. That's fine. Did I mention numbers or capital? What I don't get is why. Why why do we not go into maths here? Because I feel like that's the, the main judicator of these arguments, or it should be. And I think you acknowledge that maths is like a massive part of the game. I guess I guess I could give an explanation for that though. I mean, I don't think it ever needs that. And when it comes to like math, you know, the math side of the game is a completely different story than like actual in-game experience, right? Like I feel it's like not. Uh, it's not. You don't think so? No, because, it's not, bro. Uh, because math is literally the more objective form of that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's objective, right? But, like, everybody has their own experience in game, right? It, like, it, it is an objective thing that this, like, this is what the unit is absolutely capable of at their very best. This is what they're able to do. Um, but, like, in game, it kind of says other things. Like, RNG is a factor in all of that. Like, key is a factor. You know, your, your rotations are a factor. Um, if you want to talk about key, that's fine. But, I mean, if, like, from a. Oh, it's it's hard to talk about because I think key is massively ever blown as an issue for Ohan anyway. It is for uh, it's not really for most units. It is for Ohan in general. Um, but the thing is, when you measure with anecdotes, you can't really fully. It's, they're never going to be accurate because you're always going to have some in, like inherent bias. Like I was talking to Minato about it the other day. It's like you have to acknowledge that with anecdotes, you are basically saying like i think my personal experience that could be completely ruled by my like a perception on you that say if you think if you don't like oh then you're going to always focus on the main like shitty parts or um oh yeah i didn't get key with him uh two times but in reality 10 times you did get key with him so you're just going to focus on those two parts key it's, is um, almost Key is almost irrelevant to me, right? Like, if I get key with Gohan, cool. If I don't get key with Gohan, it's like, okay, he does have the additional stuff, right? That's fine. I'm, I'm like, I'm just talking about in general, outside of just Gohan, right? Like, math is a good tool to kind of see what a unit is capable of. But when it comes to in-game actions, I, there obviously it is anecdotal because everybody has their own experience. I'm sure you have your own experience as well. And it's just as valid as, like, Monato's experience. Everybody isn't rates it? from Rainbow, though. It's it's not if if people were rating based on their own boxes, like based on every dupe level stuff like that. But people actually, they, they, everyone in the community, pretty much that I know, rates based on Rainbow units. So why is math not the standard that people use? Okay, so I I will say a few things. Uh, one, uh, all the calcs that I do, unless they are specified otherwise, and I'm sure you've seen me say this a thousand fucking times because people always ask, is this 55%? No. One, because why the fuck would I do that? That That's not applicable to me. I want to see what the unit can do max. I don't care about 55%. But two, everything that I do is them at max. And there are, you know, the, the auxiliary 40% support. That can be higher on some teams. That can be non-existent on other teams. I just have it there so that there is support brought to the calc and you can see what they look like if someone else is helping them in some capacity um that being said the numbers that are present they're not arguable that is what happens in the game if you if you have what i have shown which is why i now show like what links are active um you know and you know exactly how much support they're getting you know what their defense stat is anybody can look it up you know what their passive is what i put down it, it it's correct exactly right um, right and like i feel like people uh, my i think what really is just weird about the community is that we are arguing about math if it's a, if it's a thing about math i feel like people should be more so interested in like you know what a unit is capable of and i i do see that honestly Honestly, it's kind of weird because with Halbert, I do see a lot of support with it because he's doing a lot of defensive things. You're, I think what it is with you, Alan, is you're Alan Dokon, and then also you're defending Beast Gohan. Like, you're you're showing counts <laughs> for Beast Gohan. But I, one. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's double bad for you. But I, I think that, um, like, when it comes to math stuff, like, people are, honestly, with, like, Halbert and stuff, I see nothing but support. I mean, sometimes I'll see the, the every so-so tweet, right? But, like, uh, most of the time, it's just, like, People take Halvard's calcs as, as this is absolutely what the unit is capable of, and I feel like more people should just do that when it comes to calculations. Anecdotal, like, anecdotal evidence and stuff like that is fine if you're talking about anecdotal things, right? Like, this unit, I I don't know. But I feel like we, we can't we can't ignore one side of the game and not, the, like, you know, and think about the other only. Well, right? no, but here's the thing, right? The reason, and I mean, I'm... I'm privy to this. I'm no stranger to the fact that, uh, you know, while I I do make all the content that I post on Twitter and all of that shit is mine, a lot of my success is predicated on the fact that Truth has been pushing the defense over offense agenda for, what, four years now? It, like, it doesn't matter who it is. I, if I post APT versus a defense calc, no one's going to care. And I know that for a fact because in the last maybe month and a half, two months, I've had 
four people ask me to do APT. You know how many people have asked me to do calcs? Like 5,000. People don't care about offense because of truth. Yeah, I kind yeah. of, I, I get what you're saying. I mean, Violet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, so here's, uh, man, it, that, like, this is a really tough argument to have. I it's I don't want to bring this, dub this down to, like, you know, like, oh, anecdotal evidence versus, I, even though I did make a tweet about it the other day, but, like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to dub it down to that, right? But I feel like your experience is just as important as the math is, because how you, how you, uh, how a unit performs for you is definitely going to, I guess it does kind of uh, form a bias, right? But also... If you have a dodge unit, right, like a 70% chance of dodging like you, like Goku, and he almost never dodges for you, I feel like that's important to at least bring up. Because it, it's not I like it could never... That. Outside of outside of things that are purely subjective, like key, uh, e even then I won't value it much. I, I'm not going to value other people's opinions about fucking experiences, bro. I don't give a shit. I'm sorry, I'm going to stick to the most objective form I can find. I mean, I mean... And that's fine. I mean, that's fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna diss it. But like, I feel like if it it's important to at least bring up because we know that that is also possible for the unit, right? I'm not saying it's the most common denominator, but it is pretty possible. Like, it's com it, it, it's common enough for that guy where it could be I get common what, for I get what else. people do. It. I just don't agree that it's the thing people should be doing. I don't. I don't really. I don't know. I've I've had this conversation with fucking loads of people. I just it's kind of it's like circular reasoning with anecdotes. It's just. Oh yeah, but it's my experience. Hey Kronos. Okay, why are you doing that? Because it's my experience. It's just I don't know. I don't. I still am yet to hear a proper reason as to why anecdote should ever be used when we have math. Well, okay. The non thing, and this this isn't to support like basing your opinion off of anecdotal factors and not just what we know. Um, but something I've experienced a lot is like. I, I will put out a calc for someone and people will see it and then they'll be like, oh, this is pretty good. What do they do? And it's mm. like, what the fuck? Like, you haven't even read their kit, but you wanted to see what their defense is. So, like, that's what I meant earlier, Alan, when I was like, it doesn't matter to me what people do with my posts after I post them. I don't want to attach myself to that because a lot of people with a lot of ignorance towards units that will genuinely not know what they do will just throw a number at you and expect that to be the reality, and that's not the case. If that was the case, fucking Mew and Jero are better than, like, half the units in the game because they can get to 1.3 million defense. Like, that's not... That's just not the case. No, I do agree on that. I, th these, these things definitely have to be contextualized. Um... For, if that means against bosses, say like comparing the defense of the offense to different bosses, that's definitely something that has to be done. Uh, you can't just chuck around these stats. I think that is something that people tend to do as well. Um, and that goes both directions. But I often get people talk about like, oh yeah, this is Gohan's APT, and it's just wrong. Vector asked me to bring this up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there is something I wanted to bring up as well, though, before, before we hop into that. Um, there was something you were mentioning about God damn it, I have it pulled up too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not using another unit's strength to support Gohan. What do you how do you guys feel oh, about that? Facts. We should talk about that. I think you know how I feel about it. But. Yeah, I mean I, I'm pretty sure I know how you feel about it, but like I mean I have no. a vague idea how both of you feel about it, right? But I, I just want to hear you guys clarify it. Now I will say Alan, I understand your your viewpoint of that entire thing, and you know it's it's very simple how you feel about it. Gohan has access to Orange Piccolo on his team because that's his leader skill, so we should count that as a strength, just like every other unit on his team. He can bring them, so they help him. That's the whole point, and I, I totally get that. My thing is, when I'm looking at what a unit can do performance-wise, I just want to look at their performance. If someone's like, okay, if Gohan takes a super for it's double exciting. digits, that that's not to the benefit of orange piccolo like it's not because of him it's because of what gohan did now i will say that doesn't apply always because what you said is you know orange piccolo giving you some some free turns you can keep gohan's guard longer than you're supposed to be able to and that technically is a direct asset to him i get that 
but that's not always the case you know what i mean like that's my point is i don't want to get into a habit of doing that always where it's like okay well this unit gets clobbered but they have ui goku on their team so he can just dodge and it's fine i don't want to get people into the habit of doing that because i fucking hate that no, but i get what you mean. it's a common, it's a common argument um i have to deal with as well I, I, like a lot of people talk to me about it and tell me i'm wrong for it but it's um what we what you have to kind of like get a baseline of is how are you choosing to rate units you, is your goal to rate units as holistically as possible or which i think I think that's a good look, though, into what a unit is actually capable of by themselves. Well, I guess there's always the factor of, like, links and stuff like that that you have to keep in mind. But, like, I would prefer to see what a unit is doing just, like, baseline rather than, like, having, like, orange piccolo. Like, you know what I mean? Because then that just makes it, like, m that muddies the water, in my opinion. But, yeah, go ahead. Sorry but, to interrupt. But it's... it's When I look at rating units, I look at how they actually perform in the content. I think you said this earlier as well. And it's when you when you factor that in you can't really take away things like orange piccolo and it doesn't just apply to gohan i use it like for every single unit like for 23rd world tournament goku it was a common example i used to kind of show the the, the kettle logic um behind it where it's you can't even like 20 23rd world tournament goku literally sucks dick unless you have another unit that can revive for him um, but people never acknowledged that. They just kind of assumed that you had another unit. But how is that any different to having Orange Piccolo to shield superheroes? Because I've, like, Orange Piccolo is way more consistent than any revive unit 23rd World Tournament Goku has. It's turn three that, every time. That is a good point. That is a good point. But I, what I'm talking about directly is, like, how what cap units are capable of, like, stat wise, or, like, you know, their own rng through their passes and stuff like that you as can well. do that like do like by that. by themselves yeah you've got a point uh go turn to throw 23 world tournament goku can just actually suck right like they're yeah for sure by himself yeah i i think unless there's like i guess gohan and the, like these 23 world tournament characters it's important to bring up the other characters but i feel like personally that just that just muddies the water too much you can like if you want to say per, like by himself 23rd World Tournament Goku without a good revive unit is just mid, then sure, whatever. But, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I honestly don't even think Gohan necessarily even needs that argument to be brought up because uh, he's per he's just a good unit by himself. I think he is. He is. If you, if you, on, want, if you want to bring... Like a different layer. It's, it's, it's literally... In that in that old content with, like, Metal Call of and all that, it literally made him invincible. The entire superhero team was invincible because of Orange Piccolo. Like right. it was, it, like I don't think you can ignore that. Like it, it's a really, really massive point for every single unit, not just Gohan, every single unit on superheroes. And that was even the fifth years I was including that when I rated them. Like it's, it's just a massive point you can't really ignore because it's exactly how you would use a team anyway, and it's available every time. There's no RNG involved anyway. Um, I just don't see how you can kind of factor out of rating for Gohan or any unit and any partner for that matter. I, I get what you're saying. I mean, I, I don't disagree either because, again, that's a direct asset of the unit. You know, if you can put him on a team with someone that somehow or another can extend his guard, then by all means, he's just a better unit as a result of that. That's a direct buff to him. Mm. Um... I just I don't want that to become too like like disingenuous because people will take that and then they'll take it too far. Well, ho hold on, Rocket. Sorry, hold on, Rocket. When when you say like Double Gohan was a great team on release, I'm I'm assuming that's sarcasm. That's how that's how my social brain is is interpreting it. But like, no, it was uh, a bad I used it on medical cooler, uh, metal cooler cool earlier. But I, I think when you're saying that, like, obviously, we were, like, I feel like every time people talk about Ultimate Gohan, they're talking about him in his, like, worst case scenario always. But, like, you're not running Gohan double lead. You can, but, like, preferably you'd want to run him on Earthbred Fighters or Piccolo Superhero Team, right? Those are the teams that are going to help him out the most. Like, we're not just talking. We're not. We can't. If we rated every unit in their worst situation, bro, like, it, y'all wouldn't have any fun in the game at all, like, whatsoever. Um, I could be saying, but in this situation, I don't think it's sarcasm. Oh, that's not that sarcasm? Actually, okay. That team was okay, actually cool. bang. It works pretty well. In, um, <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just antisocial. I interpreted that the wrong way. Okay. 
<laughs> well, it's definitely like if you took that team uh, again, and it's well, because of the boost. But if you took that team into Cell Max, shit. it was laughable. Like Cell Max was so just nothing after Gohan and Piccolo came out. He went from unbelievably hard, like the hardest fight in the game, bar none, one shot at just about everyone, but about five units. To Piccolo tanking everything he does for double digits and Gohan killing him in two super attacks, <laughs> like... No, I think, I think the entire argument kind of... I mean, we can talk about um, the initial thread as well. Uh, can you can you explain your reasoning for like, how Vegeta and Trunks are better in Metacore to Core? Because I still don't understand that. They're, they're not. That, that's what I was saying. Is I, I feel like... I feel I know, like I it's, just it's RNG dependent at that point. I feel like it can go either way. And this, again, not to be disingenuous to Gohan or Vegeta and Trunks, this is solely looking at them by themselves. It's not factoring in anyone else on their team. Just what can happen to them. Um, because of the fucking gimmick at the beginning where you're just forced to fight the army for three fucking turns, like... They just force Gohan out of his guard, and that's so lame. And I know you can extend it with Orange Piccolo, but you know what I said. Um, if he doesn't have it, he can still get over a million raw defense. You know, he can he can still live the super. It's type neutral. It's, what, 1.5, 1.6 mil? Like, he can live it. But that's the thing, is like, if bad RNG strikes, which it can, and you get one super, then you're fucked. Like, I, I don't care about the key issues that people predicate their fucking ultimate gohan hate on i don't care i've never had issues with him but uh, mine's full additional and he's rainbowed and sometimes he still doesn't do it it just it happens it and happen. the same thing can time. be said for vegeta and trunks if they don't get enough stacks they have type disadvantage i don't care about their guard they get fucking clobbered it's happened to me so many times with both of those units i've taken them both into that fight many times and they've done a flawless job at getting through it and they've both just been slapped up in front of me and it's funny it's like it happens to them both i think that is completely like either way for both of them if you factor in the fact that you get to use orange piccolo on one of the teams and not the other one then yeah it's it's pretty fucking clear cut but gohan versus vegeta and trunks in that vacuum i feel like they're the same um he could, he, Gohan could definitely get clapped in that middle cooler fight for sure. And I mean, same thing for, uh, yeah, stupid. I, I mean, mean especially, I especially for Virginia and Trunks, though. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like, it's looping back to this inner vacuum. And I just don't like that logic. I don't like the, the thought process. I, I get it while you're doing it. I just don't think it's like, it's, it's not holistic. Like, you're, you're not looking at in actual in game gameplay of this. It's, um, like you could, you could take the superior team in there. 100 times at 100 i'd literally win every single time that's how busted that team was like at that time um yeah but was it busted what, what what team are you talking about specifically superheroes the team the team i showed earlier which was um i mean maybe you could have trouble in pan that's basically it but you probably just take off the team and place it somewhere else but um you know the, the day one super team which was like pan the gammas um double piccolo gohan and uh, God Goku. That oh, team, I, I think, genuinely might have been near impossible to die on. Um, and you just demolish the team as well. Unless you, like, restrict yourself to not using actives. But if you play normally, I don't... I like. I don't think there's any content in the game that you could die in, actually. Broly, maybe. Maybe. You know, That's a big... You, you saying that has just made me realize something else, too. There are a ton of people, probably the majority of people, who rated Gohan negatively because they didn't have the rest of his team. You oh, know yes, why? True. You know, you know, the main reason why people rated Gohan negatively was because he wasn't Beast Gohan, and then Truth made a big yeah. stir about it, which is, I mean, like, listen, it's fine. I don't even think Truth, I guess he kind of was saying that he was just kind of like mid, but, uh, I, Beast Gohan not being an actual part of his kit ruined him. His all, any chances, unfortunately. I'm just gonna say I, I feel like I'm I'm not gonna like absolve myself of blame. I was talking to Future about it earlier. Um, I'm sure I like I am responsible for a fair share of the hate on that unit, and I don't really give a shit as the thing. But it's um, I'm in British, it's you know people kind of 
very contrarian to whatever I see on Twitter. Um, which I don't care, it's kind of like a joke, but uh, it's a shame. It's just a real shame. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it happens. It's It happens to a lot of units, like, people just, for whatever reason, just randomly decided recently, like, oh, we got, like, a couple new fights. All right, well, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the, the full power into one, yeah, he's just, he's just dog shit now. Because that's my agenda now. He's just bad. Uh, do what one? Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, he is yeah, kind of the, falling the off. Sadly. I mean, yeah, of like, course. Uh, like, you know, a, a new level of power hit the game. And it's not like... It's nowhere near the leap of Extreme Super Battle Road to Red Zone. But, like, it's, oh you know, it's a noticeable leap. Like, certain units are prospering and other units that were really good a month and a half ago they you know kind of got brought down a little bit but people are just so disingenuous about their takes when it comes to certain units and that lr goku is just one of them people just act like he's bad now and i really don't get it yeah um i've had this talk with a couple of people he is he does struggle i don't i do think he's not too bad in the emergency master red zone to be fair but he's um it's just with the the low amount of attacks just fucked him i don't know what to say it's kind of it's annoying but I still think he's, a, he's he's not bad, but he's just not as good as he was. I do think I can see the blue duo above him, if I'm being honest. But. Super Saiyan 4, Goku still has value in some of the events that have come out. Like the Tech Merge Zamasu event, he's fine in. Cell, he's fine in. Like, I mean, I do think this is a jump in power, but I think it's like a temporary... I don't, I don't find it to be like a very... It just seems like gimmick fights. A bunch of gimmick fights to show off the new units' is power, obviously, right? Hmm. Like, Zamasu's AoE, very clearly to me, is meant to be like, okay, you know, the blue slot one, they dodge pretty much everything. So, it's just meant to show off their power, I feel like. Yeah, like, I like, mean, most of the, like, most of the events that have come out, like, Omega was meant to show off Super Saiyan 4. Omega was really powerful, hurt a lot of units, but then, like, you know, as soon as Omega, as soon as that celebration was done, we got into this one. And then, uh, a lot of really powerful, or a lot of older units that kind of fell off in Omega came right back in this meta. Yeah, and I can see that I can see that happening in like, <laughs> yeah, they and I get rimmed twice in a row. Not even just not even once, man. Good fucking. Yeah, my my whole thing with that, and I'm also glad that you know Piccolo isn't Orange Piccolo, and the reason being is because they're very they're very purpose built. Gohan is a slot two monster. That's where he's supposed to be. If he can super first, he's a wall. He's awesome. Mm-hmm. Piccolo's meant oh. to go in front of everything. I am so happy we brought this up. I am so tired of us comparing two different units. I am so sick of this argument every single time. It's like, well, he's not better than he's not better than a slot one super duper ultra tank who gives who gives support to your team and stuff like that. Yeah, Gohan is not meant for that, bro. Can we talk about like how Gohan is meant for damage in slot two instead of giving putting the putting him in these really weird situations? Like, of yeah. course he's gonna struggle like slot one obviously he's not getting a super attack like it's just stupid arguments i think i'm maybe slightly part of the reason that got brought into the community um i think me and the truth talked about it a lot before come, it's, um, go, come on bro it's it, the the whole the whole reason it used to be such an amazing thing to be like a slot one unit is because we had none like, in the mm -hmm. like tech on area it was very very rare to have slot one units now we have fucking tons like it's not even rare anymore we have so many units at slot one and don't really do much else. Like, just as many slot twos as slot ones at this point. So it's, it's people kind of lose the whole point of that argument. It wasn't that, oh yeah, slot ones are inherently better. It's that slot ones are better at the time because they were rarer. They're, they're not like better because they're slot one solely. Um, it's just, I don't know. What people don't understand is that. A unit that can go in slot one, a unit that can go in slot two, and a unit that can float and support in slot three, they're all just as important as the other. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. It's not about one fucking unit, unless you're Orange Piccolo, because he's just built different. But that's that's the whole thing, is like, you have to build a team. All of the slots matter, and fucking MX later in chat, slot two monster, we don't have a lot of those. We didn't when Gohan came out. We had a couple. 
for whatever yeah. reason, they just never stopped doing that. Everyone is a slot oh. two unit now. The it android does sound like expert that games, yeah. Right now, they're fucking slot two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. True, and they're good slot two and three. I mean, like it'd be like if we had units that are a little bit more versatile and you could fit them into other slots, fine. Like if we could have a slot one unit, like if the blues were able to be put into slot three and be a okay past their like, you know, if they just kept fifty percent uh, dodge throughout all the their slots, they'd be a fine unit, right? No one's dissing that, but like units with a clear purpose, like shouldn't be compared to units who are a little bit more versatile. It just doesn't make sense. And that's why I don't like a lot of Twitter takes because people are so disingenuous. They'll like completely on purpose use a use it like use a use it use a unit incorrectly and then post it on Twitter to push an agenda. And it's like you're yeah, a fucking true. moron. Stop. I try not to do that with units. I don't like. I think I've been accused of it a couple of times, but that is one thing I I rarely do get told I do. It's um. Yeah, you can, yeah, it's kind of shit to do that to units. I don't, I don't really get why people do it, and a lot of people do uh, do it as well. 